hello and welcome to my youtube channel still fun pop with lillian how are you all doing so it's finale or should i say night to finale but it's morning already so let's say after party you guys know after party is always my favorite time in the house because with a little alcohol <laughs> you have no choice but to be your real self anyways tonight was that night tonight's that night we all have been waiting for okay so after the party the housemate decided to do a little shout out to the various drinks they've been taking in the house in fact immediately they said let's do this a kind of shout out or a promo or whatsoever i said no these guys are drunk <laughs> and even starting with ibubu he was already staggering a little and Ipe Leng, you know, mumbling some words. I say, no, this is alcohol working already. <laughs> So just grab your popcorn, let's dive in. So the husband decided to finally cut their cake. If you remember, a cake was given to them during their evening, um, should I say evening dinner or some sort of. And they decided to cut the cake and give a speech. But while that was about to go on, Big Brother called Tati. So they just had to, you know, make it fast. And Yvonne decided, okay, to give a little speech, but due to it wasn't coordinated not everybody was there you know so it couldn't go well but then you found decided to talk about um ibuka and lawrence joining them in the party and she went on to say oh ibuka is such a fun guy and all that so the housemates started coming back from the hoh um from big brother's call they decided to give a shout out to nelisa whose birthday it's today, so they sang a happy with this song for the Lisa. Okay, okay. I don't think anyone's so true as big brother. After the happy birthday song, Givon decided to give a short speech and she mentioned that she never had time to spend like quality time with Nelisa. <laughs> while in the house but then she knows that nelisa is a girl that knows what she wants and wants what she wants that on few occasions she even told her even if what you want is occupied still go for it and when she made that statement you know cause he had to chip in <laughs> and say what did you just say and you know they had to make it a thing even involving kanaga what did Yvonne just say about uh, Nelisa? And Yvonne still repeated that Nelisa is a girl that wants what she wants. It was a kind of funny because I guess maybe there is um, an inner code trying to happen with that talk, but I didn't actually grab that. Afterward, Kanaga was forming vibe, you know, forging songs, making a music with their name and all that. And at the same time, sharing one or two kisses with Satsi. And they decided to ponder upon their journey in Biggie's house. And Yvonne said, you know what? We are all winners. That even though, although one person will be taking that money, but when they step out of this house, um, they will be making money as well. So, and even getting to this uh day of the show shows that they are all winners and Kosi and Yvonne decided to talk about 
evictions and even pointed on how Kosi has been nominated right from the second week of the show to the last week and said oh like it hasn't been easy and she even mentioned that after Kosi called Kosi then Javon how they were nominated back to back but then look at them here in the final day no 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 I said you lie so why they were talking about eviction tatsy decided you know to take it up from there and she said she's glad for her old journey and most especially if there was any time she was happy was the day she was nominated together with kanaga and she was saved and kanaga kaniva I'm sorry, when she was nominated together with Carnival, that's when the parent thing was still ongoing. And Carnival was saved and the royals that Tatsi and Ibubu were saved too. She said she was glad that that means that people actually voted for her. And their people voted not because, you know, Kanaga, she's with Kanaga and all that. Not because of the whole relationship thing because other days when she's up or like can oh she would think oh maybe she was saved because kanaga is down but no both of them being saved showed her that there are people out there voting for tatsi wake up and say let's unsave tatsi i am i'm sorry 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 i'm and she gave a shout out to them on how you know she's been grateful they voted for her not because of any strategy but because they love her and <laughs> one funny thing about this is that why do we are talking about the whole uh nomination thing you can sense that these guys are drunk because you one went on quoting the bible like i was like yo baby girl yes indeed you are a pastor's kid she was quoting the bible back to back on how god you know knows everything knows each other's um journey and how it would be in the house that's even mentioned that she never prepared for a finale dress she didn't shop for a finale dress because she never saw herself making it to the stage and here she is yes baby girl <laughs> still on their life and journey in the house uh yvonne pointed out how you know god knew that tatsi would still make it in the final and caused ipileng to uh to pick ibubu to the finale and ipileng mentioned that why she also took ibubu the while ibubu deserved to be in the finale she also decided to take ibubu because the society ibubu represents they are hardly they are hardly seen they are hardly you know being in the faces of everyone so she decided to do that as well and yvonne just chipped in that is still based on god's plan and ipeling and tati said something that i found very um should i say worried about because they said while in the house a lot of people mentioned that the both of them will make it to the finale tati especially says she had had discussions where people said it's just luck taking her all this while and she was like oh if it is luck fine you know that boy to her she believes it's not luck that she deserves to be here and people are out there rooting for her and <laughs> <laughs> Ipeleng as well saying she overheard people saying oh it's been luck and all that and Yvonne reminded her on how she's the person that won the veto power that that means God prepares a table for you in the presence of your enemies at that moment I don't know that it was Yvonne talking about the whole alcohol thing see <laughs> if you can watch that the past you will see when Ibuka was giving this guy small drink I was like oh hold up because all that happened this night is giving <laughs> God is saying night. You know that drink that usually cause um uh what's it called disqualification? That was what this night was giving God on. It was giving God on vibes. Anyways, still on those that are high or not. Did they give this area to you? Look at this area. 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 Look at this area.
Why Kanaga was tonight's resident doctor because guy literally took care of everyone, everyone. <laughs> but Kanaga told Kosi that if this is how um they easily get tipsy, then they are not ready to party in Lagos because in Lagos, ah <laughs> that this is not alcohol, that this one they took tonight is water. Now imagine that the eight of them shared one bottle. That that's when it comes to Lagos party, hmm, you're gonna be drinking the real alcohol. And because he said yes, she knows she's not even ready for that other side of life. But then you know, she will make up to all that when she's out. At this point, Ibubu was already in the restroom trying to help himself out. Although Kanaga was laughing about how you know Ibubu was still struggling, uh, staggering, and all that. But Kanaga helped him out, took him to his bed, you know, helped him loosen up his belt and gave him some water as well. Kanaga even dropped a bucket for Ibubo in case he wants to help himself out. Meanwhile, Ipeleng. <laughs> Ipeleng was high too. Baby girl was drunk and was even almost naked yet. You know, was trying to mumble a few words and Kanaga was there as well to help out. <laughs> and that was not just it. When Kanaga took her to the bed, at the time she was even crying, saying she wants miracle. And Kanaga said, "You know what? Miracle is here. <laughs> Just trying to calm Ipeleng down." Meanwhile, still on highness. I don't know whether it's highness or not because Yvonne has always mentioned that she'll be going to the H O H lounge. She'll be sleeping in the H O H lounge. So Yvonne now went um upstairs to the H O H. Um, bed and laid down but then Kanaga was not finding it funny at all yeah. while Kanaga was calling on Yuvon to come downstairs Kosi decided to come in and say, you know what, let me ask Big Brother if Yvonne can spend the night. Because at the time, Yvonne was even saying, I'm the H.O.H., you know, she was drunk and all that. I'm the H.O.H., I want to sleep here, I'm coming with the mic. She was just, you know, blabbing and all that. And initially she said, um, I love Big Brother to punish me tomorrow morning. Did you get? But then Kanaga said, no, Kanaga even told Kosi, because Kosi was already ringing the bell. Kanaga collected the bell from Kosi and said, no, no need ringing the bell. Go and read what the rule book say. That the rule book say that the HOH um, lounge is only for the HOH. And Kanaga even went ahead to say, you know, you might be thinking it's the last day, but respect Big Brother's rule. Anyway, at the time, they were struggling who will hold the bell and all that. <laughs> At this point, I can even point, I can see that um, Kosi is not finding it funny. She was already angry, like telling Kanaga, allow me ring the bell, allow me talk to big brother, you know. Why are you holding the bell? And Kanaga was busy telling her, no need ringing the bell. Big brother will not answer you because the rule is there and the rule is the rule. And Kanaga kept on calling on Yuvon until Yuvon came downstairs. Even with the whole highness, Yuvon was, you know, tra trying to locate her steps and all that. And while, do you know the funny thing? While Kanaga and Kosi were struggling, Ibuba, I don't know how Ibubu managed to move his drunk self to the H.O.H. chair. It was actually funny. I was like, what is this? You are still talking about you want kids. You, you've gone and sat down in your chair. It was actually a funny scene. But I'm glad at the end of the day, you want came down from the H.O.H. room because hmm, I don't trust Big Brother. Forget it's the last day. <laughs> I know you i know you might be feeling oh since it's the last day you know let me just enjoy myself in this room uh, if big brother give me a strike is it not one strike i will collect and all that but i guess maybe kanaga is just looking out in order to be on the safe side since it's last day of the show and 
because he was really angry with Kanaga. Like I could see that. And Kanaga went to Kosi to say, See, I'm just trying to us to be safe, the rule book and all that. But if you feel I was playing the hero Kineko Kineko, it's fine. But Kosi was just saying, Fine, I've heard you, cool, you know. I could tell baby girl is angry for me. I'll be angry. Like, allow me now. Allow me to do my thing. Allow me to talk to you. Big brother didn't talk to me and all that. Then it's fine. He didn't answer. But I don't know if Kanaga was, <laughs> was equally high as well. Forget that he's taking care of every other person. Who knows? Who knows if he's even high as well? How will you know? <laughs> Satsi even thanked Kanaga for taking care of Ipeleng, looking out for Ipeleng, and then went to bed. At this moment, every other person is sleeping except for Kanaga and Kusi, as the both of them have already started packing their bags. Kai, honestly, I'm going to miss these guys. I don't know about you, but I'll miss them. Don't forget to tell me in the comment section how you're feeling. Are you feeling, oh, I'm going to miss them? Are you feeling, uh uh, the show should end already? Tell me in the comment section and don't forget to go and watch how the party went down. I will see you tomorrow for the finale, the grand finale. Enjoy the rest of the video and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed watching or listening to me narrate the whole thing, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and if you haven't followed me what are you waiting for now edge hey, follow now thank you for watching bye